Good morning, ladies. And today we are going to do a character study. And I did not label who we were doing the character studies throughout the, um, the study. And we're doing a total of three. Um, one, this one in chapter six, one in chapter 12, and one in chapter 15. Um, 15 is um, Pontius Pilate and who is in, uh, Judas is in 12. Um, the next study, I will go ahead and I will write, um, I will label them. I, I will put where I have here in, in red, the character, I will, I will put that in for you so that if you're working ahead or working behind or not looking at videos, you'll be able to have the answers um, and know who we're doing. Okay, so this one is Harad Antipas, and um, he's a quite a unique character. Um, from he vital statistics, he is from Jerusalem. He is out, oh, and I'm gonna give you a little hint as to where this information comes from, and it's very easy to find the information is in the Life Application Bible. Um, I use the NLT for the Life Application just because that's, I don't know why that's what I ended up with, but I ended up with that. But I believe most all of the stuff that goes with it um, is the same. So um, they do character studies. And so the information is very, very easy to use. They also have an app. Um, their life application, if you were to buy the, the actual Bible, I believe is around 35 to 40. Whereas the life application um, app is 19.99, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, I have both. Um, I have the life application um, app on my phone and my tablet, and then I have the actual Bible. Um, although the app is the Bible as well. Okay, so the vital statistics. He is from Jerusalem. He was the Roman ruler of the region of um, Galilee, and you guys know I'm bad with names. Piera. His father was Herod the Great. Mother was Maltus. First wife was the daughter of Arteus the Fourth. Second wife was Heranius. And I find that quite unique. The the difference, you know, his first name and her name. Um I don't, I, I don't know how that ended up to be. Um, I would assume she was named that long before he married her. Okay, contemporaries. He was alive during the time that John the Baptist, Jesus, and Plato. Um, Pilate, Pontius Pilate, I'm sorry. Strengths and accomplishments. He built the city of Tyrius and oversaw archaeological projects, ruled the region of Galilee for the Romans. He didn't have um, much pedigree. You know, he wasn't, I mean, his his father was Herod the Great, um, another Jew, uh, Roman leader, but he wasn't royalty. Um, without his title, he was virtually nothing. Okay, weaknesses and or mistakes made. He was um, consumed with his power. He was all about the fact that he was powerful. Um, he put off decisions or made the wrong ones under pressure. Um, he divorced his first wife to marry the wife of Philip, his half 
brother. Now he remarried Her, um, Heranius. Um, and that was very illegal back in the day. Um, imprisoned John the Baptist, which we'll get more into later, and he ordered his execution. And he played a minor part in the execution of Jesus. Fun fact. It's not really a fun fact. I couldn't think of anything. I couldn't find anything that was really fun about him. Um, but it is a notable fact. And that is, as I just said, um, he, he participated in the legal proceedings that led to Jesus' execution. Key verse, which is Mark 6, 20. And Herod was greatly disturbed whenever he talked with John, being John the Baptist. But even so, he liked to listen to him. He really, it was like in the back of his mind, in his subconscious, he knew he was a bad person, that he was consumed with greed. And that he ought to listen to John the Baptist. Okay, other people mentioned um, Jesus, Heranius, um, Pilate, um, Philip, his half brother, John the Baptist, of course, his first wife, um, and whatnot. Now, this is a really long storyline, and I didn't fit it all in here. Um, but I will give you some more information once I read through this, the main storyline. Most people disliked having their sins pointed out, especially in public. The shame of being exposed is often stronger than the guilt brought on by the wrongdoing. Herod Antipast was a man experiencing both guilt and shame. Herod's ruthless ambition was public knowledge, as was his illegal marriage to his brother's wife, Heranius. One man made um, Heran's uh, sin a public issue. That man was John the Baptist. Um, he, John had been preaching in the wilderness and thousands had flocked to hear him. Apparently, it was no secret that John rebuked Herod for his adulterous marriage. Heranius was particularly ang um, anxious to have John silenced. As a solution, Herod imprisoned him. He liked to listen to John, who was one of the few people he met who spoke only the truth to him. Most people would cater to him. Whatever he said was okay. Um, but John the Baptist gave it straight up. Um, Herod could not have John reminding people of his sinfulness, but he was afraid to have him killed. He put off the choice. Eventually, Heranius forced his hand in John's execution. Of course, that only served to increase his guilt. And this is a real interesting story, and we get into it in the, um, the <coughs> dogs. Um, we get into it more in the chapter. Okay, garbage truck went by. <laughs> the girls bark at anything. Sorry about that. Um, so we do get into the story more in depth in the um, actual study this week because there's a whole lot more that could be said there about how he had John, um, how he ended up executing John. And it's a very fascinating story. At least I think it is. Okay, um, what did the character learn and how did they grow? A life motivated by ruthless ambition is usually characterized by self-destruction. Opportunities to, 
do good usually come to us in the form of choices to be made. So the next two questions, um, some people can come up with a whole lot. I come up with very little. These are um, questions to make you think. What could you have learned from the character? What did you learn from them? And um, do not do as others wish. You know, he, his, his wife wanted him to execute um, John the Baptist. So don't do as others wish. If it goes against your conscience, um, what you know is right, um, what is sinful. Greed gets you nowhere. And what kind of questions would I ask? And point blank, why did you listen to Heronius and execute John the Baptist when you knew it was wrong? He knew that um, John the Baptist was a religious man and he um, didn't um, didn't want to to end his life because he really thought that something bad would happen to him. Okay, that is the end of the character study, and I will be back on Friday with the answers to chapter six. Until then, bye.